What's up everybody out there on YouTube? This is JD right here at my gym, Kishi Dojo Martial Arts Release, and I have for you guys four different Muay Thai A-count drills that you guys can practice on a bag, shadow box, or with a partner with some tie pads if you guys are really good at holding for each other. Let's go ahead and get into this workout. We're gonna work on what we call the Muay Thai A-count number one, and then I'm also gonna show you a couple variations. I'm gonna break this up into two chunks four and four, so you're gonna get a four count and a four count. I recommend you do each one of those for about two minutes, and then when we merge them together, we put them into the eight count, do that for three minutes. And I'm gonna do the four and four with each one, and if you wanna use a heavy bag, you're more than welcome to. If you don't have a heavy bag, you can shadow box all this. We're gonna start with the basic stance, of course, like always. So if you're not sure, remember, hands and feet to your side, one foot out, turn, and then about a 45 degree, heels up, hoodie on. And this should be your basic stance. Uh, profile shot, I'm here. So since I'm right-handed, I move my right foot. Here, here, 45. Heels up, and this is my stance. And so for the first half of Muay Thai A count number one, it's a lead teep, which is a front kick using the ball of your foot, putting that foot down in front. Rear round kick, lead elbow, rear knee. I do have to admit, I cheat a little bit when I use these bags because I grab the top. I know nobody has the top of their head that's perfectly flat, but that's also really wide, and I don't plan on fighting anybody that's got a head this big, so I cheat it that way. But I also have been doing this for a long time, so I know I'm grabbing their head with a Muay Thai clinch. Anyway, let's do it again. Lead teep, rear round kick, lead elbow, rear knee. One more time. Lead teep, rear round kick, lead elbow, rear knee. Give me two minutes of that, followed by one minute of any ab exercise you want.
So you just finish off that rear round kick. Hook, cross, hook, rear round kick. Hook, cross, hook, rear round kick. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember, this kick is targeting the thigh, so I'm not kicking too high. You should be seeing me kick about right here. I'm trying to hit that thigh muscle. So hook, cross, hook, rear round kick. And now, two minutes of that, followed by one minute of push-ups. Two minutes of that hook, cross, hook, rear round kick, one minute push-ups, and then come back to me. So we got to put it all together now. Lead teep, rear round kick, lead elbow, rear knee, hook, cross, hook, rear round kick. Lead teep, rear round kick, lead elbow, rear knee, hook, cross, hook, rear round kick. One more time. Lead teep, rear round kick, lead elbow, rear knee, hook, cross, hook, rear round kick. All right, I want a three minute round of that, followed by one minute of squats. Remember, squat, elbow touches knee. After that, we'll move on to number two. Let's go.
Okay, moving on to number two. Okay, moving on to number two of our four count. So I have lead teep, rear round kick. Instead of the elbow, I'm gonna go lead hook and rear round kick again. So lead teep, rear round kick, lead hook, rear round kick. One, two, three, four. This is a little bit of a longer range drill, hence why I do it. Lead teep, rear round kick, lead hook, rear round kick. Two minutes of that, followed by one minute of abs again. You can do a different ab exercise. So, and then we'll be back for part two of that. Let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
so we just finished that last kick. And again, just like before, we have hook, uppercut, hook, rear round kick. Hook, uppercut, hook, rear round kick. One more time. Hook, uppercut, hook, rear round kick. And that's going to be your second half. So give me two minutes of hook, uppercut, hook, followed by that rear round kick. And again, we're back on the upper body. But now if you want to add in any weights, you can. So it'd be, again, one minute of push-ups, maybe curls, tricep dips, whatever you want. One minute of upper body. And then uh, we'll be back for the com combination. now so you still have lead teep rear round kick lead hook rear round kick hook upper hook rear round kick and this uppercut is a long uppercut out of the JKD system hence JKD kickboxing it's a long uppercut it's not tight close quarter it's firing out like long range so lead teep rear round kick again this is also a wide hook Wide hook, rear round kick. Hook, upper hook, rear round kick. Lead teep, rear round kick. Wide hook, rear round kick. Hook, upper hook, rear round kick. All of this is designed for pretty much a long range. One more time. Lead teep, rear round kick. Hook, ooh, da, da, da. let's do it again. Lead teep, rear round kick. Hook, rear round kick. Hook, upper hook. Rear round kick. Cool. Three minutes of that, followed by one minute of squats again, or legs, sorry. Three minutes of that, followed by one minute of legs. If you want to do lunges instead of squats, that's cool. Don't forget you have the ice skater, ice skater uh, lunges, I guess. That's where we step out and we touch the foot. 
ice skaters, or you can do the side squats, whatever you want. Moving on to number three. This first part, we're gonna breathe through because you've already done it. So you have lead teep, rear round kick, lead elbow, rear knee. You've already done that. Lead teep, rear round kick, lead elbow, rear knee. Again, give me two minutes, followed by one minute of abs. Thank <laughs> you. 
This is again, this is probably one of the easier ones. So you have your hook, you have a body cross hook followed by another knee. So hook, body cross, hook, knee. Hook, body cross, hook, knee. And why I like this is it's going up and down a lot. Okay, you're throwing a high punch, you're throwing a low punch, you're throwing another high punch, and then you're firing a low knee. Again, if they're trying to defend this, they got to defend high, you got to try to go low, got to defend high, got to go low again. That's really hard for a lot of people to do. All right, two minutes of that, followed by, again, upper body. One minute of push-ups or squat, uh, sorry, not squats. One minute of push-ups or dips or whatever you want, curls, you name it. Let's go. Oh, baby, you 
Number three together, lead teep, rear round kick, lead elbow, rear knee, hook, body cross, hook, rear knee. I want to kick. Lead teep, rear round kick, lead elbow, rear knee, hook, body cross, hook, rear knee. One more time. Lead teep, rear round kick, lead elbow, rear knee, hook, body cross, hook, rear knee. And the only reason why I say it all the time is one, it helps me remember what I'm doing, but also is for teaching purposes, you guys understand, or maybe you're catching on with the names of all the moves. All right, that's number three. Go ahead, give me a three minute round of that, followed by one minute of legs. If you want what I would do for you.
moving on to number four, our last one of these. This is again the first half. So lead teep, rear round kick, low hook, high hook, elbow. Lead teep, rear round kick, low hook, high hook, same hand, counts as one, rear elbow. <clears throat> lead teep, rear round kick, low hook, high hook, rear elbow. All right, two minutes of that, followed by, what are we back on, abs now I think? Did push, no, legs. Uh, so two minutes of that combination, followed by, we're, I think we're back to abs now, followed by one minute of abs, let's go. Okay, this ending's gonna be a little tricky. It's called the crashing elbow. So you just finished that elbow. So you have your hook, cross, elbow, knee, push them, kick them. So hook, cross, elbow, knee, kick them. So because it's supposed to be four, here's how we're counting it. We're saying one, this and this is two, this is three, push them, that's four. That's how we count this out. There's one, two, three, four. So lead hook, cross, don't pull back for this, just boom, it just falls in. Think of their hands coming up like this, so when you hit, you just angle it and so their hands will get shifted off to the side you blast them in the head so hook cross elbow knee them give them a little push and then you'll kick them and that's because you need the room or the range for the kick all right so you got two minutes of that cool little ending followed by again upper body one minute Just watch me. Just watch me. Just watch me. 
I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break you easily But I'm worth it I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh, 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 so give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind oh, 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 so give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me But don't you try to call me tomorrow There's nothing personal in heaven, a little fun You wait to see if it's worth your while So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me Give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me together Lee Teep rear round kick oh I forgot what we're doing oh yeah Lee Teep rear round kick low hook high hook elbow hook cross crashing elbow knee push let's do that again so Lee Teep rear round kick ah Lee Teep rear round kick low hook high hook okay elbow and you go right into it. Hook, cross, elbow, knee, give them a little push. Rear round kick. One more time. Lead teep, rear round kick. One, two, elbow, hook, cross, elbow, knee, push, and kick. Thank you. 
Sweet! So there is uh, four different eight counts you guys can train. Hopefully you guys see something new or cool out of this setup. If you want to add exercises in, you're more than welcome to. You don't have to. I tried to teach this into four and then four and then I combined them. And like I was saying, you know, two minutes is good and then doing a three minute round. Remember, three minute rounds is mainly because if you're going to do a kickboxing match, you're going to do a MMA match, you're going to do whatever, you want to have that cardio developed for those three minute rounds. So that's why we chose three minutes in between. So two minutes on each little half is good. And then three minutes when you combine the drills. And you should have a pretty good class right there. You should have a good workout. And hopefully you got something new out of the deal or at least a new concept. Well, you guys are awesome. Stay safe. You know what I want you to do? Hit that like button, bink. Smash that subscribe button, bam. Tap that bell icon so you know when the next video is coming out from all of us here at Martial Arts Limited. And you'll see myself, JD Olson, along with several of my friends. I got a video coming out with Professor Brad Scott. Of course, you'll always see Sifu Ed Stahl. You'll see Judo Josh. You never know who's going to be on here. Icy Mike, Sensei Seth. You know it. We have a lot of fun.